So, after the fall of Tortuga and our narrow escape from Blade's army, we found ourselves hiding at the rock, a small island only Long John Silver knew about. I remember how scared we were as we steered the ships toward those cliffs. Once we were inside, we found out that it was a peaceful paradise. Jojo used magic to conjure the spirits of our fallen comrades, and with their help, we made a plan to go to Africa and find the sorceress Kanda, Jojo's mother, and ask for her help to find us a way to stop Blade zombies. Little did we know that the assassin Shadow was making his own plans. Plans that would lead him to Africa as well. There lived a lady by the North Sea shore. Two daughters were the babe she bore. As one grew bright as is the sun, so cold Black Crew, the that elder one. That song you're singing, what's it about? Two sisters, a blonde and a brunette. One day, night comes to court them both. He finds he's only in love with the blonde. <laughs> the brunette, out of jealousy, leads her sister to a cliff, gently takes her by the hand, and throws her into the sea. And after that, she's the one who gets to marry the What night. a lovely story! When Ben Gunn was alive, it would always make him cry. Ah! Lovely story! Lovely story, Ben Gunn! No, it's not. It's a horrible and cruel story. It's called The Cruel Sister, and if you think that's bad, you should hear the rest of it. You see, two magicians find the blonde huh? sister as she washes up on shore. Have you ever heard the story of the angry, dark-haired girl who threw the big-mouthed, one-legged pirate into the sea for scaring her little sister? For Neptune's sake, Tracy, I didn't write it. Hmm. The coast of Dahomey is in sight, Mr. Shadow. Prepare the men. We'll disembark at night. Soon I'll be home again with my people in the tribe of Fong. I can't wait. My father was our king, Kapingla. He was a wise man, a great warrior, and a most worthy griot. A griot? What's that? It's a person who tells everything that should never be forgotten. You see, my father was a living vessel, carrying the history of our people. Uh -huh. That is, until he was killed fighting off slave traders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My father mm -hmm. died in battle. I was still small, I don't remember much. I was just nine, and it hurt me so much, but I just couldn't dwell on it. It was time. I had to take his place as the new king, and quickly. But I was scared. On my coronation day, I ran away. I was confused. I needed some time to get my thoughts straight. But that's when the slave traders found me and took me away. You were only nine years old, and I'm sure that your mother has forgiven you for it by now. My mom's name is Kanda. She's a witch doctor, the high priestess of the Fong tribe. Oh. She can talk to spirits. People are afraid of her powers, but she was always a good woman who would never hurt anyone. I confess I miss her very ah. much. And when I return to them, I'll tell them I'm ready to become king and griot like my father. And I'll teach my people that they must rebel against slavery. And I promise that I will commit myself to stopping that injustice. Hmm. Yeah. The witch is a young woman with a tattoo on her forehead, between her eyes. Bring her to me alive! Oh. 
Ugh. You'd better tell me if you're Kanda, or I'll order my men to kill all of your people. What do you want from me? Ah, your help. Men like you killed my husband and took my only son away from me. Even today, your rifles have killed. I need help to stop something terrible. A great evil that threatens us all. Ah, an evil that's even more terrible than the one that's in your heart? It's the truth, and <laughs> you have to help me to stop it. Try to believe me. But I said... Very well. Leave my people alone and I will come with you. I had to request a crew of men in order to find your village. I had to give them your people as a reward for their services. They're all cutthroats. If I didn't give them something, they would kill me too. I'm afraid there was no other way. Yes. I can see that this is the course of destiny and that I cannot change it. It looks like a fully organized shipyard. Where did he find so many carpenters? And why wouldn't he use the shipyard in Port Royale? It's time to find out. We will approach under the cover of darkness, and then return before Blade notices we're missing. We need to be careful about this, or it just might cost us our necks. How? How do they work in this darkness? There's something very strange in the way they move about, and I don't hear any voice, nobody giving them orders. It's like they're all... Lifeless? Lord Blade, but what is the meaning of all this? Hodakon! <sighs> the day of reckoning is near, you little humans. You will be utterly blown away by my great vengeance. The vengeance of Hodakon! <laughs> Did you find what you were both looking for? It's a shame you can't tell anyone. No! Very good. Nobody shoots better than His Majesty's Navy. Unfortunately, all your bullets managed to do was put holes in my coat. That makes two less problems. Now we'll deal with the third one. Time to furl the sails. Drop the anchor. Uh, drop the anchor. Uh, uh. Jim, Jojo, get ready. The three of us will disembark. The girls will stay with Ben and Flint on board. I want to go with the three of you. Not now, Miss Danton. I need you to stay here to help Ben protect the ship and sail it to safety, if need be. You should do it. You're the first mate. This whole river is Fong territory. Amazingly, it's never been found by the slave traders. We should be able to leave the albatross here safely. Then it's settled. I'm going. Now, don't you cause any trouble while I'm gone. I do not cause trouble. I'm just going to make a cake for Jim while you're gone. This is for you, for when you get hungry on the trip. Pastry! Up! Light pastry! Up! And I already put strawberry jam in it, just how you like it. <laughs> Let's get going! <Yeah. laughs> Once we get to the mainland, let me be the one in charge. After all, I am the future king. Great, Neptune. Remind someone that they're the next heir to a throne and just look at how they treat you. For Neptune's sake, will you slow down? Mama Kanda! Simbo G! I'm home! Huh? <sighs> Finally, we made it! Huh? huh? That sure is one creepy looking doll. It kind of looks like Shadow. Well, who says that isn't what? him? <sighs> Mama! 
Mama Kenda! This is the work of slave traders. But heartless wretches, they have no honor. <laughs> <laughs> Where will they take them now? Ah, it's hard to say. Cayenne, Havana, Savannah. Draw a map of the Americas and throw a dart. They could take them any number of places. Huh? Wait! Maybe this is really a clue. A Portuguese coin. Then I'll bet my only leg that they're all headed to Brazil, to Salvador. That's where the Portuguese held their slaves. We have to try to bring them back. Oh, wonderful. We get to cross the Atlantic again. Uh, uh, very well, then. Tomorrow we'll follow them to Salvador. But now we get to spend the night here. We can't go back to the river after dark. <laughs> Your mother is a sorceress. Is there a way you could communicate with her from far away? I could always hear her watching over me, but now I can't hear my mama at all. I'm begging you, Kinda. Why haven't you used your powers to free your people from these chains? Why? My powers cannot do everything. They couldn't save my husband from meeting his death at the hands of others. They couldn't save my son from being kidnapped. And now they can't save your people. The spirits have often spoken to me. When they do, they are preparing things for me that I cannot understand. Things I'm unable to prevent. And now I hear them again. Something terrible is happening. Something bigger than all of us. And the people of the Fong tribe must follow this course. But we won't all survive this. Think of the women and the children. Yes, you're right. We have to follow our destiny, but there's no reason to put the women and children through this. I want to speak huh? with your captain. You hear that, Louis? The witch wants to talk to our captain. Mm. You know what happens to slaves who try to tell us what to do. Mm. Ah! Huh? Oh! 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 I said I want to speak with your captain. Y yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll go and let him know right now. I won't be a minute. Kenda is captured. I'm taking her to Salvador for questioning. Hopefully far enough away from Huracan. Mr. Shadow, it's the witch! She took my gun and then it started glowing and it turned into a... Stop babbling and start making sense or I'm throwing you out the window. Uh, the witch gave me a message for you. You wanted to see me, my lord. Have a look at this and read it for yourself. Hmm. Smollett and Williams were kidnapped by some pirates who dared to ask for a ransom. Even more pirates? How horrible! Your forces have leveled Tortuga to the ground, and they persist! The war is not over yet. We cannot let our guard down. Or surprises like this will keep happening. What do we do? They're saying we must surrender, or they won't release the hostages. They could be lying to us. They can't be trusted. Lord Blade, I wish to take care of this matter personally. Impossible. I need you here. Your diplomatic work with the French and the Spanish is too important. Please, my lord. Smollett is my friend. Very well. If you must go, I'll go with you. Ah. There should be a cliff five miles ahead. I see it. Keep going forward. Mr. Rooney, I want you to start preparing the case with the money. We will follow their instructions. Once we've recovered the hostages, I want to follow those scoundrels back to their hideout. Yes, sir. Hmm, I don't see anything. Maybe they'll be on the other side of the cliff. Something's wrong. We should see them by now. Sorry to report, but it's an ambush, sir! 
Prepare men for combat. Yes, we'll handle it. Hide yourself, my lord. And abandon my position? How dare you? My lord, those scoundrels aren't here to make the exchange. They want revenge. They're here for you. We can't let ourselves be captured. Our project would go up in smoke. But Smollett and poor Williams... Gentlemen, there's no time to lose! Trelawney, hurry! Farewell, my lord, for you, and King George! Ah! Get down, that's an order! Fire! Uh -huh. Huh? Attack them all! Holy Neptune! What are you? My lord! These are not pirates! Please help us get away! Oh, those poor men! The sacrifice won't be in vain. We can pass through the maze of islands. With the pirates still locked in combat, we should be able to get away unnoticed. <laughs> Commander Rooney fell fulfilling his duty. I propose that his memory be honored by King George. Those cowards! Smollett, Williams, and now Rooney, and the whole crew! In their names, we shall continue to fight. Till we wipe them all out. Mm -hmm. Ben thinks that they're taking too long. If Ben Gunn were alive, he would be very worried about them. Don't worry. They're going to find Jojo's mother. Then they're going to bring her back here, and we're all going to have a big party. And then Jim's going to eat the cake I'm making him. Ben Gunn just wonders if something went wrong. I know. Why don't you tell me a story? Maybe one from all that time that you were shipwrecked on the island? But Ben is dead, so he can't talk about the island. Oh, all right then. Why don't you tell me a story about the sea? But tell a nice one. Don't tell me anything about pirates, okay? Alarm. Huh? Alarm. Huh? 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 <laughs> ah! Alarm! Ah! Alarm! Ben was Alarm. right. Something went wrong. Huh? Uh, uh, fine! Just take it. You! Put out your hands! You won't make me a slave again! Of course uh, not! We'll put a crown on your head and carry you around like a king! Slave traders! Filthy vermin! What should we do with the lame one? I'll show you later. You'll be even worse if I get my hands on you! It would cost us more to keep him alive than he would make at the market. Put him down! No! Yeah. Let him go! You'll never take us alive! <laughs> oh! Hey! Where did he go? He must have run away! I'm going to bring him back! We can't waste any more time! If he's out there with only one leg, alone and unarmed, the lions will take care of him! But since you helped him run, I'll teach you a lesson! Hang him by his feet! Sleep now. Tracy, 
Jojo, wake up. We have to escape. Jim, it's a miracle that you're still okay. But what about <gasps> the guy who's watching us? He walked away, but he'll be back soon. We have to hurry. Reward any man who captures them. They're escaping. Hurry. They went that way. Let's get them. <laughs> What's oh. that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe an animal? Huh? Uh. <laughs> 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 They're called the Lion Men. They've been good friends to the Fong tribe. They saved us! And you should thank me for bringing them here. Long John! But how did you manage to convince them? They should have thought you were their enemy. Well, I'll admit it wasn't easy. But we reached an understanding. Am I right, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, my friend. We made it. Lord Blade, mm. you saved me. Mm -hmm. Ben! They're here! And look who they brought back! Ben Gunn would be really happy to see them. I made a great cake for you, Jim. Gun were alive, he would say that they're a little crazy. A little crazy? Oh, crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Off we go to Salve. I just hope we get there in time. We will find them, Jojo, like I promised you. We'll fight together to end injustice. I guess this will get that filthy witch to cooperate. I hope that Shadow knows what he's doing. As you can see, I've agreed to help your people like you asked. Now you must help me in return. Tell me what you want. I want you to teach me the secrets of your magic, specifically the kind that's used to wake the dead. What you're asking of me is impossible. Please heed my warning, Shadow. There are secrets that your dark soul cannot even come close to understanding. Yes, but yours can. And that's why I've brought you here. Because I want to finally start doing something good. Then I hope you're prepared to wait for a while. It would take a century to wash your spirit clean. So then, we'll have lots of time together. Salvador is just ahead, sir. With your permission, we'd like to prepare the prisoners to be auctioned off at the market. I agreed to help you. And even then, my people get treated like animals? All I promised was that I would not harm them, and I kept my word. You knew the arrangement. Yes, I did. And as long as you keep that promise, I'll still keep mine. We will continue this conversation when I return. For now, there are matters that I must see to. I know what it is you're planning to do. Know that vengeance will not heal your pain. <sighs> Keep the prisoners locked up for now, including this witch. And this time, bind their hands and blindfold them. Get in here! What do you want from me? My money? No. I want so much more. Huh? I want <laughs> your life! The pirate. 